Well, new survey out this week by the National Association for Business Economics paints a picture of a growing economy and an economy that is growing at the fastest pace since 1984. The economists predict the economy to grow by 6.5 percent this year. That would be a larger increase than the 4.8 percent predicted earlier. David, why should anybody be surprised that you lock down the economy for a year you get rid of the lockdowns with the vaccine and, and it grows at record pace. I mean, is it, are you surprised at the surprise? Uh, I have become surprised at nothing, David, because this to me is so logical <laughs> and so obvious. And yet it still seems to uh, create this sort of uh, total shock and awe. Yeah. The reality is even the six and a half percent is going to end up being low. I'm more on, on Larry Kudlow's side here. I think you could end up seeing an eight or nine right. real GDP print. So that's net of inflation on the year. The only thing I want to say is that what matters is next year. We already know Last year was an outlier of the contraction. This year is an outlier of the expansion, the recovery. Where do we go next year? That's a much bigger. David, uh, these grand plans, uh, whether it's a wealth tax or Janet Yellen's plans. By the way, the global minimum tax seems to have fallen on deaf ears uh, all over the world, hasn't it? Yes, for good reason. The notion that the United States should be telling other countries what their tax rate right. should be or that they should be telling us what ours should be is offensive. And, and it's the kind of thing, by the way, that, that gave us Trump. This sort of globalistic mindset, yes. I think, is really dangerous. And it's an attitude that a lot of Americans have rejected. I agree with almost everything Liz said. I do want to point out, though, Liz, that we can't double count the Fed money being added and the government spending. Uh, several trillion of that is the same money. So I don't think it's really... 10 trillion, but the point is exactly what you said. There's all this stimulus out there, so that adds to some of this activity. But the biggest thing to me, creating economic activity, is that people were shut down for so long. Right. So there's pent up yeah. demand. They want to be free, they want to live their lives. I heard you on the last segment quoting Milton Friedman. They want to be free to choose. They want to be free to choose, exactly.